It's almost too cold to bear. But if we don't retrieve the scepter, Medea and I may never return to normal. We'll just have to grin and bear it. Let's keep pushing on. At least moving might help us to warm up a little. I shouldn't have to put up with being in a freezing place like this. It's all Dormagus's fault. Well, but he's dead now. So I, I suppose it's that Leo What's-His-Name's fault. I don't know. A d -d -d dog of all things. Oh, Oh, stop your whinging, Grandad. It ain't as if we've got a sweat on, you know. Just get on with it. I beg your pardon? How I'm called for? I don't see why I shouldn't be able to say whatever I please. You've no right to talk to me like that. No right at all. I'm absolutely livid. Livid, I tell you. I'm going on ahead.
That dog over there is called Boris. He's the one who dug us out from the snow. What a dog. He's a lot more use than a certain king, don't you think? And he smells a bit better, too. How dare you, boy! How could you say such a thing about your own master? Honestly, who do you think called for the dog's help in the first place? and warm your bones. I will bring you some of my nook grass tea. Please, drink. This nook grass tea will keep you warm even in the bitter cold of this snowy land. How terribly kind of you. First you save us from the avalanche, then you put us up for the night, and now you warm our innards. Now that's what I call hospitality. And what's really amazing is that you helped a weird old monster like him in the first place. You loathsome lowlife. You of all people have no right to call me weird. It is true that his appearance is a little unusual, but when you get to my age, you learn not to judge a horse by its harness. And of course, I would help anyone who was in trouble so far from civilization. I hope you don't mind me asking, but why do you live all the way out here on your own? Of course I do not mind, dear. There is an old ruin behind my house. My ancestors have looked after it generation after generation. It is a family duty. But that will all end with me. I have no one to follow in my footsteps when my life is finished. Really? It must be pretty tough living on your own like this, duty or no duty. It is comfortable enough. I have lived here since I was a child, so it is not a hardship. Besides, to live life is not to walk through a meadow. And from time to time, people get lost here in the mountains like you, so I am not lonely. And I always have Boris to keep me company. Ah, on the subject of dogs, we had something to ask you, Marta. This will sound a bit strange, 
But we're pursuing a big black dog, and we heard that he might have been headed in this direction. There's a good chance he may have come this way. Have you seen anything? Um, no. I am sorry. The only dog I know about is big old Boris over there. Sorry I cannot be of more help. You should ask where there is a lot of people. If you go down the mountain and go to the north, you will come to a town called Orkutsk. Maybe someone will know something there. Ah, that sounds like an excellent idea. Right then, chaps, there's no time to lose. Oh, yo, yo. If you are hasty, others will only be amused. That is an old saying here. One should not be so eager to go back out into the blizzard. The night is coming. Why don't you rest here? I am sure the blizzard will be gone by morning, so you can leave for Orkutsk then. Yes, yes. Wise words, my good woman. Very well, we shall rest here for the night. Go north from the bottom of the mountain and you will come to Orkutsk. Please be careful on your journey. By George! Princess! Are you all right? Were you cold in the night? Forgive me, but I must ask you a favor. If you meet with a man called Marek in Orkutsk, please give this to him. He is probably working with herbs like I am. I would be grateful if you could give him that bag. Spashibo, thank you. Right then, off to Kutsk. Totally bye.
Доброе утро! Good morning! So you have found my herb garden. This cave is just the right temperature and humidity for them, and it is the only place I can grow my nook grass. Beyond those iron bars is the ruin I told you about. I usually keep it locked. It is a very special place, so I cannot allow visitors inside. Forgive me. Go, Blimey Grandma.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank A Battle! Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our heroes, Monster Team, the Puffing Puddings! In the blue corner, captained by Alwaz, mountainous monsters, it's the big boys! It's a campaign of pain that'll fry your brain! Let's get it on! The fans are going absolutely wild! And now, it's time for round two of the Rank A Contest! The teams are ready to go! The fans are ready to go! Heck, I'm ready to go! Let's hear it for round two! In the red corner, we have our heroes, Monster Team! In the blue corner, captained by Attaboy Tom from Chateau Felix, it's the Wildcats! It's a historic hoedown of a showdown! Let's get it on!
Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The Monster Arena is proud to announce the Rank A Championship. You are about to witness an historic tournament of truly epic proportions. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team, the Puffing Puddings. In the blue corner, Captain by Amon, the faces of fear, it's Fear Factor. Which side will soon be champs? Which side will soon be tramps? Let's get it on! I didn't see that coming. I've been in this job a fair old while. Let me tell you, but this is the first time I've ever seen anyone make it to rank A. Here's your prize. Well done. Fantastic. Mia, I never thought I would see to live the day. You are one chip of an old block, eh? Valor, this is the final prize. From now on, I let you leave the 21 monsters in my carry. See? 21! With so much choices, you can try all kinds of tricks and tactics in my pit, eh? The possibilities are endingless. Ragazzo, I like to say grazie. Thanks to you. Eh? When we have first met, it was just by chance. But now, now I know it was meant to be. You believe in me and you give it your best shooting, eh? Now, look at what the passion and the gusto have become. I have nothing more to give you, ragazzo. But I can offer you one final challenge. Fight me! Become the strongest monster team owner in all the world! Our passionate encounter will take place here, in my monstrous pit! This is the final rank! Rank S! In rounds one and two of Rank S, you will fight against the two strongest monster teams I ever see! And in the final round, you will fight me! Okay, ragazzo. It is time for you to show just what you are made of. Passion versus passion. Gusto versus gusto. And don't think I will be going easy with you. 
I don't wish you the buona fortuna. Now we are rivali. I will be waiting for you in my pit.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank S Battle! Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team, the Puffing Puddings! In the blue corner, captained by Tornico Taloon, live from La Canaba, it's Taloon's Treasures. It's a campaign of pain that'll fry your brain. Let's get it on! The fans are going absolutely wild! And now, it's time for round two of the Rank S Contest! The teams are ready to go! The fans are ready to go! Heck, I'm ready to go! Let's hear it for round two! In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team, the Puffing Puddings. In the blue corner, captained by Ragnar, the Burland Buddies, it's Heelys Heelys. 
It's a glorious contest of havoc and hostility. Let's get it on! Gentlemen, you are about to witness a once-in-a-lifetime event with unimaginable implications. Our champion has obtained every rank in existence. That is why we've created a very new one, Rank S. The battle for Rank S will be the battle to end all battles, and the champion will have to defeat none other than the man himself, Mori! This is it, the creme de la creme, the battle royale, the mother of all monster arena contests. In the red corner, we have our hero's monster team, the Puffing Puddings. In the blue corner, captained by Mori, numero unos, it's Mori's Glories. You think you got what it takes to go toes to toes with me, eh? Bring it on, ragazzo! You're in my pit now! Which monster team will emerge victorious? Which monster team has what it takes? It's impossible to predict until we get it on! Thank you. 
I, uh, I'm lost for words. I really don't know what to say. I suppose I should give you your prize, eh? Here you are! Ragazzo! No! Now I must call you champion! <laughs> Every day without the failure, I am here in Arena, striving to make the better monster team. In my mind, all I am thinking is how to make the team stronger, how to give it more gusto. But I am nothing compared to you, Championne. Grazie. You really make my dream come true. I've been waiting for this day. For the momentous day, I finally find the hair of my monstrous pit. I have the one final prize for you. I give it to you in that fateful place where you and me have first met. You like it, eh? I erect this statue here over my molto monstrous pit so the world can know of the gusto and the passion inside you, ragazzo. Like I tell you before, you make my dream to come true. And this dream, I have it for a very, very long time. So now, it is for I, Mori, to help to make your dream to come true, ragazzo. I come with you on your aventura. <laughs> you like this plan, see? <laughs> I knew you would say this. I do not know what is your dream, ragazzo, but I do know that I, Mori, will play a molto importante role in it becoming true. It would seem I've accumulated a somewhat larger entourage since we left Trodane. Henceforth, I think it would be prudent if one or the other of you remained behind to guard Medea and I whenever the rest of the party leaves the wagon. Yes, I know what you're thinking, but one will be quite sufficient. And I dare say it will stop you tripping over each other in those cramped caves you like to frequent. Naturally, if whoever is on guard duty is carrying an important item, I'll see that it gets transferred to the bag before the rest of you set off. So, ragazzo, lead the ways. <laughs> <laughs> 